Um, so, hello. As you know, my name is Bradley. Um, more commonly known to the team as Brad. Uh, this is my first of two junior LTA work term reports. So I'll get started with a few introductions. Um, I am an honors physics student going into my 3A term after an eight month co-op with CEL. This is my second work term placement. I've had a four month uh, placement with ACE interview prep as one of their developers for their program. That didn't show the picture. Um, so this term I've had three focuses. Um, so the three main focuses. So the first one is our CEL YouTube channel. Then I've also worked with development for Power Automate and our hardware support with the absence of Jess. So first we come to the YouTube channel. Um, I worked with very closely with Despina and Aditya on this. So we have our knowledge base articles on how to use Learn in Bongo. So we would review these and then work together to create tutorial videos that will be posted. Um, this is part of a playlist that we've created on how to create your first Learn course and how to set it up and use it. This playlist was part of a concept that I then had to present to upper management. So I displayed part of this video that you see displayed here. Um, I displayed that to upper management. This is the first video that I created. It's introduction to learn quizzes. So we also worked on a few videos outside of learn. So this is our level up videos playlist. This was created as a concept based off of the newsletter articles that we have. There's a section there on level up. So this playlist was designed to develop new technical expertise. So people watching these videos are able to learn more of what we do and it allows us to focus on more complex issues and focus on more one on one support with people struggling. Additionally, so the videos that we see here are clearing cookies and cash. Those are the start to our level up and next term we're going to look to develop this further and add more concepts. A lot of these concepts came from our knowledge base articles, which is another large undertaking that we have done. Um, as we went through all of our learn support articles, a lot of them were created before updates to learn. So we very quickly noticed that there were a lot of inaccuracies in the older articles as learns updates had shifted some of their various components or had removed them entirely. So we then worked on updating those and Later in the term, we were migrating the knowledge base into a new location. So we all worked as a team, all uh, Chris, Despina, Jason, Aditya, Kanchan and I worked to review all of the articles that had been created. So that way we could ensure the most accuracy in the articles that we moved. With these, we also realized that a lot of the jobs that we were doing for taking over for a lot of unexpected turnover, they, there wasn't a lot of documentation prepared for it. So these needed to be updated and we needed to create new articles that would explain the jobs in case of further turnover. With the migration, we were given the opportunity to advance our foundations. So when Jess left us, we were able to advance our articles on hardware support and processes. We really got to develop that and we have a lot stronger foundation um, for how to do the various processes of her job. Then from here, with everyone coming to in person, we also developed a new article on return to work procedures. 
So this included various topics such as um, mapping your computer to the system network when you're on campus, as well as how to connect to the printers. So I worked on the PC version of the work procedures while Aditya worked on the Mac procedures. And then finally, we developed our Learn Articles Foundation, so that way anyone can go through our knowledge base and if they and assuming that they understand where to find all the articles, they can now develop their own learn course without any assistance by us. This brings us to our JIRA ticket queue. A lot of these tasks came came up as people were struggling to get through their day to day jobs that had been passed on to them without a lot of explanation. So they would raise a ticket to the to this queue that would uh, explain the issues that they were having and ask us to create an article that explains how they solved it. So this brings us to triaging where all of these tickets go into an unassigned section and Aditya and I work to assign it to the appropriate person. So if one person has been working with hardware and someone needs a task. Someone needs to do a task that is hardware related, but they don't have the knowledge base article. Then the other person who has been working with hardware will have this assigned to them and they can work on it. Additionally, a lot of the turnover has resulted in a lot of the tickets being assigned to one person temporarily. So Aditya and I worked over the term to display how to. We've worked together to spread it around the team and allow everyone to maximize their productivity. We've also been given a lot of extra projects over the term that we needed to determine who was the best suited to handle it. So if we had a project that we needed to work on uh, Photoshop and develop branding, then we would be able to assign it to Chris. And then we also had new processes come in. So with these tasks, we needed to determine what the best process was for who to assign them and where to assign them to, as well as the various processes of the automation. So JIRA has its own automation section, which allows us to predict what some of the subjects li subject lines might be. And we will be able to take that subject line, read through it, and if it matches what we expected, then it will automatically assign it. So for a lot of the term, Aditya and I work to manually reassign all the tasks. However, we noticed that Power Automate tends to bring together the same task. So it will say assign to Michael for a lot of the onboarding tasks and we can use JIRA Automate to read it, to read the subject line. And if it says assign to Michael, JIRA Automate will automatically assign that and allow Aditya and I to focus more on various other tasks that we have assigned to us. This brings us to Power Automate. This is one of the largest projects I have worked on, so it is the largest component of my presentation. To start the term, we had our staff taking courses reminders needed development. So whenever a staff fills out a form for they are taking courses, then we set an event reminder to come up two days later that will confirm that the restrictions have been applied as the staff member is no longer allowed to access that course. So we need to restrict them. And then four months after that, we send another reminder that will remove the restrictions so the person can now do their full job once the course is ended. The issue with this was that all these reminders were coming in on weekends or outside of work hours. So I developed a new line of code that will determine when 9 a.m. is. It will wait until 9 a.m. on the next day 
delay another day. And if that day is either Saturday or Sunday, it will continue to skip another day until we reach Monday, leaving a reminder 9 a.m. Monday morning that will be reviewed by the team. We also worked on our onboarding flow and our offboarding flow. So a lot of these align with each other. So as the various project or as new employees come in, we will have the flow read through the form that is submitted by the supervisor. It will select all the important information on the hire and then we'll disperse that to the appropriate member of our team. So if the person needs access to the RTQ, then it will be assigned to Jason and he will be able to provide this access. The onboarding flow was a very similar process of the supervisors will be able to review the flow, determine which access this member currently has that when they leave, they will no longer be allowed to have access to, and then it will send the email to the appropriate member to remove the access that they had previously given. With all of these emails, we developed a new automated email format. So a lot of these were coming back as a person stating that they had requested different access than they were given. So we developed a PDF summary of submissions. So for both the onboard and the offboard, the person submitting the form will receive a PDF that gives all of the, their responses to the form. And it will also forward it to Jason and Despina to ensure that we are not causing inaccuracies on our side and refusing permissions that have been requested. We also had a lot of emails going to the JIRA queue that were supposed to be going to ITMS. So we developed the email redirects to ensure that they are going to the appropriate groups. And we also had a lot of turnover. So with this turnover, we ensured that all the people who were receiving uh, CCs from the JIRA queue, we've now removed them and given it to the new employees that have come in to take their job. Finally, at the end of the emails, we were leaving a very blunt ending or just saying thank you. So we developed new signatures that will say thank you CEL system support team. And we are currently working with Chris to develop a new branding that will allow us to insert a picture at the bottom of the PDF. With all of this experience, I was able to achieve my Power Fundamentals certification. So this certification will allow me in my next term to determine how we can best use all the various components of the Power Platform. This is Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps. Um, I will look at which ones of these I've studied and determine if we can use them in any of our processes on day-to-day -day business. And part of that came up through our goods received notes. So when Jess was working with us still, uh, we had a process for any goods we were receiving that took over 30 minutes to do. So Aditya and I work together to develop this process you see on the right that will streamline it and we can now receive an asset in five to 10 minutes. This includes all of the testing for the items and checking the item into SIMS. So we updated this process and now under each item, whichever one you've selected, you can simply select the link next to it and it will show you how to test the individual item without making you go through how to test a monitor when you're receiving a mouse. We also updated the form and flow in Microsoft Forms and Microsoft Power Automate. So whenever a person submits a form, it saves it as a record and the flow is now removed. So we can simply check the asset into SIMS without having to worry about the item going into the queue, we can deal with it immediately. With all these goods received, we come to the final component, which is hardware. So 
we worked on our goods received physical processes largely. So these processes were, we ran a lot of testing. So here you can see all of the different tests that have to be run for an individual app. And then we also would update them into Sims. A lot of items that we had, we needed to add into Sims as we had, as Sims is fairly recent. So we haven't been able to bring all of them in. So Aditya and I work together with all of the hardware that we have to review all the items that are still untagged and ensure that we have the most items we can in Sims, the most assets we can. We can. Once the item is in Sims and we've marked it as ready to deploy and the testing has come back as successful, we are able to deploy it to the appropriate employee. And so whenever a person vacates their position, a new person comes in to that position, we are able to deploy the correct laptop to them and ensure that they have the equipment they need to succeed in their job. Not all of the equipment re we received was old. Um, some of it is a new design. So for example, we recently got our Teams phone up and running. This Teams phone will allow us to connect in one on one meetings in one of our meeting rooms and it will ensure that we can have our laptop separate to take notes if we are conducting a business meeting. Uh, Deecha and I recently worked together to develop a new list of how to use the Teams phone and Jason with Paul's help was able to get the Teams phone up and running so we are able to use it now. We also have our hybrid meeting room cameras. These cameras are in all of the major meeting rooms we have so we can now connect to a generic meeting room account we can connect to that. The panoramic camera will show us the entire room. It will show us the whiteboards as well. And so everyone can be on this without having to give up their computer so they can take notes on their computer or perform the tasks that they are asked to during the meeting. Finally, we also worked on the Kensington locks. This is a security feature that we've been working on it we've Aditya and I work together to ensure that we can connect this to the laptops and the team's phone as well as the desktops and ensure that we can safely secure all of our equipment to our desks so when we return to in person the Kensington locks will ensure a safer work environment uh, with very little theft Finally, not all the work that we did was with the support team. We also did CDTS testing for the development team. Um, so they will give us a list of tests and what has been updated in their apps. And then these tests will be developed and we will determine what areas need to be improved on. In the, we have a knowledge base section as well that is we will update that section with a description of what went wrong and what worked with their with their tests and then we will use that to provide feedback directly to Jeffrey Doa and Ogo and ensure that they are able to correct any issues that they had with it. So in conclusion, this term, the system support team was largely understaffed, which due to the volume of extra work that was created, it allowed me to study a larger variety of work types and processes than I would have otherwise been able to. Um, this also allowed me to develop expertise in hardware and hardware support, Microsoft Power Fundamentals, program testing, and several other areas. So, Finally, I would like to thank Jason and Despina. They gave a lot of advice and their expertise to me over the term and gave me a lot of tasks that I was able to develop my resume. Um, I'd like to thank Chris because he brings a lot of positive attitude and enthusiasm to every meeting and tries to engage everyone in the conversations. And then Kanchan and Aditya both provided a lot of advice and encouragement for a lot of the projects. 
Um, I know Kanchen gave us a lot of encouragement for the Microsoft exam and for this presentation as well. And then I'd like to thank the whole team. They gave a lot of great social experiences with it and they really collaborated well. They work together and if there's an issue, everyone tries to jump on it and try to make sure that it's dealt with. And finally, I'd like to thank upper management. I think they've done a lot in assisting us and it doesn't get mentioned quite enough uh, that they really do a great job in helping and trying to ensure we have the resources we need to perform our jobs. So thank you.